Hello everyone. In the previous video, we discussed dative bonding and two examples related to it. In this video, we will be discussing two more examples and then we will be covered with the subtopic of dative bonding. Now the first example in this video that we will be covering is that of Al2Cl6 dimer. Now this dimer is formed when two molecules of aluminium chloride, AlCl3, sublime and they form Al2Cl6. Now this is formed by creating a dative bond between the two AlCl3 molecules. Now let's look into detail how exactly that is formed. But before we do that, we must mark the electrons, which are basically the valence electrons and the electrons taking part in the covalent bonding of both of these molecules. Now I'll be denoting the electrons of the chlorine by dots. So we know that chlorine has seven valence electrons, six of which will be used as lone pairs and one of each will be used in the covalent bond and we know that aluminium has three valence electrons which will be uh, denoted by cross and the same for this aluminium uh, chloride molecule so now basically what we will do is we will see how a dative bond is formed in this compound. Now we can see that each of the chlorines have a lone pair, right? What happens is that the chlorine will basically donate two of its electrons which are basically one pair and they will give it to the aluminium of the other AlCl3 molecule. And the same with this chlorine, we draw an arrow and it will donate one pair of electrons to the aluminium of the other AlCl3 molecule. And that forms what we see over here due to dative bonding. And there are two dative bonds in this one compound. Now, this is one way that we can denote this entire compound. Another way is this. If you want to denote it diagonally, you can do that also. That's also completely correct. Now, the second example that we were talking about is going to be dissociation of water. Now, dissociation means when a compound is dissociated into its constituent ions. So, water would dissociate into H positive ions and OH minus ions. Another way to write that down is by saying that two water molecules would dissociate into one hydroxonium ion and OH minus ion. Now we already studied that the hydroxonium ion is formed by dative bonding in the first example of acid dissociation in the previous video that we discussed. So let's look at that. Again, we know that due to electronegativity, the electronegativity difference of oxygen and hydrogen will create partial charges in the water molecules. So let's look at that and let's mark them. There are two water molecules as an example over here. Okay, now what happens is that water, the oxygen in the water molecule has two lone pairs one of the lone pairs would attract this hydrogen we would draw a curly arrow and the bonding electrons of this OH bond both will break and go towards the oxygen and all of this would form a hydroxonium ion and an OH minus ion so this is the way that dissociation of water uses dative bonding now all four of these examples that we have passed across two videos will basically give you an overview of dative bonding and this is all that you need to know for your AS level chemistry syllabus. Thank you.